Well, hi, welcome back. This is Kim. Today I'm going to be showing you another little thing on OneNote. I did one a few days ago, more about personal use, and um, I've come up with some examples of a way a business could use OneNote to stay organized. And uh, yeah, I just want to kind of show you what I've got here. Um, so basically to get a new, let me back up. If you don't know what OneNote is, it's an amazing free form note taking program that's similar to like Dropbox paper or notes or Evernote. Um, it syncs up your computer, your tablet, your phone. If you, you log in using an email and that way your notes are available to you no matter where you are. Which is, um, I think it's awesome. I use it all the time. I use it for work and for personal, even just to make a grocery list. Um, it, it's really helpful. You can create any kind of notebook you want. Think of it as a actual loose leaf notebook with different tabs and different pages within each tab. Um, it's just, I mean, it's limitless, the amount of possibilities. So I wanted to kind of show you um, how to use it. When you get it, wait a minute, it's not gonna. When you first open it up, this is kind of hidden up in here. So um, the ribbon will not be visible. I mean, you could get to everything by just clicking on the tabs. Um, I find it helpful to pin the ribbon and that way the ribbon's always there, so you're not, you know what's at each one, you can see it faster. That's the first thing I would suggest. Um, you can name your notebook anything you want. I named it Tutorial. To name it, you just, um, let's do it this way. You just click this, and you can uh, open one. You can add a new one. Um, and here's the notebook sync status share it, you can copy it, you can move it, send it to the recycle bin. Um, anyways, so I just named it tutorial just so it's easy to remember which one it is. Um, you have your same tabs that you have in all the other word programs. So inside of each tab there's different you know sections. Here's the styles and the basic text and the tags insert has tables files images etc blah 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 so you can go through all of these um so i didn't want to do that i want to go to the home tab okay so first i wanted to show you how to do a to-do list super super useful i like i said i have so many of these um it's really kind of fun what you can lay it out like this you can make it in a table. Um, you can drag, the beauty of these is you can drag everything around. So if you'd rather have this down here and this over here, you just do whatever you want. You can resize it, you can resize these, just drag the, just drag, you know, drag these little, anyways, yeah, so. Um, then you just, you just click, like if I wanted to add something else, you just click here it automatically will take the formatting from above. So it'll automatically take, add another to-do box. Let me just click it when you've already done this. So let's say there's something I wanted to do later. Maybe I wanted to file my reports. So then that would be for later. The fun part is these little uh, tags. So there's a lot of choices. You don't have to use any of them. Um, I use the phone one all the time because it, I can glance at it and see I have to call someone. And the critical means, well, wow, I better not forget that. And important is to star it. So those are pretty much the ones I use all the time. Um, but there's other things, like you put someone's address in, you can highlight it. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. So file my reports, I don't know what you'd use for that. You could just... Uh, I don't even know. I can't think of anyone that I would do for that. Well, that could just be an idea. Maybe I don't really want to do it, but I'm just thinking about it. 
Anyways, it's um, so like here's if you want to delegate something to your assistant, I want her to uh, bring me buy me some coffee. So that's something I'm going to ask her to do, and I could put another tag in there if I want. So it's this one right here, this bottom that opens up the whole list. It's critical. I need coffee. <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to show you kind of how to create a table real fast. I, so you just click off where there's nothing else, where it's just white. You go to insert, table, you pick how many columns you want, how many rows you want, and it makes it. As you type in it, it kind of adjusts a little bit. Tuesday, let's say Wednesday, oops, <laughs> I can type, I really can. Let's say I know I want to put a long piece of text in here. You could just stretch this out. You have all of your text tools. So if you go back to the Home tab, you can make bold. You can change the color of the text. You can underline italics. You can add bullet points, etc. Um, so you can make it look however you want. And this was just a list, so I just created the list. Um, so like if I wanted to do Wednesday, I went to heading one and I bolded it. And I know I could do, I think this was, I think I did heading two. So let's see, let's, let's highlight it. I think I did heading two, heading two, and then bold. Yeah, so that's what I did. So then you just go down to the next line. And you'll notice it didn't do the uh, to do button, but you just click right here and that adds it. Like Wednesday, I don't know what I want to do. Stop and get donuts. I want to pay the fees, whatever. <laughs> so that's, it's a, you can do either or. I put both on here. You wouldn't probably have both of these or you could, but you don't have to. And then just remember to mark them off when you do them. Uh, same thing for monthly. You could, um, so this is my, I guess I should do this this way. So this is my to-do tab, and these are my to-do pages. You can add more pages. To add another page, just click add a page and name it whatever you want to name it. Stuff I will never do. <laughs> Oops. And then you can make your list of things you're never planning to do. And um, so they are listed over here as a page. So I made another tab. So think of this as the tab in the notebook. I'm done with my to-do tab. Now I'm going to go to my personnel information. So this is where you would put all that. Uh, your ID number, your direct phone number, your email address, your boss's information, um, anything you want to put in here. If you wanted another tab, you know, another page, you just add another page. And this could be um, uh, discussions with HR or something. And let's say you have, this would be a good thing for another chart. So insert table, I don't know. So this would be the date, discussion, topic, uh, result or something. Um, so you just make this bigger. This would probably be big. This would probably be big. So you just typed in the date. Uh, 10, 1. About changing my start time result. Start time is now 8.30 a.m. Whatever. So anyways, that's just an idea. Of course, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just kind of showing you the capabilities of it. Um, here's clients, another section in my, this is another tab in my notebook. Um, I, let's see, let's go to the main page here. So like maybe on the main page, you can list all your clients and maybe put your their phone number next to it or something, just as you're just gonna glance it real quick and call somebody. Um, and then you can go right over here to their page. 
and you would have all the all the information for that company, their address, city, state, zip, phone numbers, fax number, web website, their contact name of your contact, that person's email, that person's phone number. Uh, maybe you could even do this in another table, but just your discussions, notes about what you've talked about, like um, you know maybe the person's wife's name or something, or some they told you something personal. You'd want to put that in there so that when you call them back the next time, you can ask about it. Um, just little notes. And then I made a subpage called quotes. So this was like um, the quotes that the that we've created for this company. So the date of the quote, the quote info, and the status. Like we sent the quote. This this one's already been repaired, completed. So to make this a sub of this company, a sub page, you just right mouse click, and you say make make sub page. So like if we went back to our main clients page and the next one is Blackwood Tiles. So let's make a new page. This is Blackwood Tile. Okay. And we put all the stuff about them. Whatever. And we want a quotes page for them. So we just add a new page. Call it quotes Blackwood Tile. And we want to make this a sub page because it's part of Blackwood Tile and make sub page. So um, you could click this little arrow and it cleans it up. So if you had a really long list, you could do that. And you could have as many pages and sub pages as you want. Um, it's amazing tool. You can use this for so many things. It's really just your imagination limiting you. You can have as many tabs as you'd like. You can have as many pages as you like. You could have as many workbooks as you like. Like you could have a personal one, a one for your family, one for um, all your medical information. You could have one for work. Um, it's really a great tool. I don't know. A lot of people don't know what it is. It comes with Office, and um, there's apps for your iPad and for your phone. So, um, yeah, I really think you should play with it a little bit. I think you'll like it. There's so much more to it. I'm just kind of touching the surface here. I just wanted to show you the possibilities so you can uh, start using it. Um, so, anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you start using OneNote because I think you'll love it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you have any comments, put them below. And also subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Okay, see you next time. Mm -hmm.